Hi, beautiful. How are you? Okay, so today, just the usual, uh, we're gonna be watching some people absolutely demolish their hair. Listen, you're gonna wanna see some of these. I've seen the thumbnails. I scanned through the beginning. It gets bad <laughs> real fast with these girls today. Mm. I'm excited to watch them fully through with you guys and see exactly what happens to these girls, but it has something to do with bleach and it has something to do with it not going correctly with the bleach. And I'll never get sick of it. So let's watch a couple of girls demolish their hair today. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> that worked a lot better when I was a kid and I didn't have like 90 year old knees. Ow! That's enough for me. That's that. All right, never again. Our first video is by Nafisa Kayani and it's called I Bleach My Hair Gone. Wrong! Let's watch it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey girl. Let me part of this for a minute. Basically, yeah, I got a lump here over here. A lump? A oh, a lamp. I it from my lighting. Okay. This video is <laughs> my hair blonde. I like her. <laughs> hair out, and then I'm going to be washing my natural hair. I'm going to be showing you guys what my natural hair looks like. Okay. Never have I ever video. My, that was my natural hair. So I'm going to be taking this out and washing my natural hair underneath. What are we doing today? I'm going to bleach it blonde, but... I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna bleach it today. And so what's gonna happen is I'm not good at it. I don't know what I'm doing. It's pretty much gonna look really, really bad. That's basically all I got out of that. Pat that head, girl. Oh, this hurts, girl. I just took a shower. What are we using? People say that you shouldn't bleach your hair because it can damage it. But if my hair's already damaged, you might as well damage it more. No! If your hair is already damaged, you should actually want to damage it not anymore. It's not like if it's already damaged, let's just put more bleach on it. No! It should be the opposite. What kind of logic is that? No! This is cream. She's like, I'm not putting cream in my hair. You know when you're watching this video, don't copy what I'm doing. No. Have you guys seen the people on TikTok who do this accent and with the makeup? Mm. It's so accurate. I'm sorry. I needed to come out and say love. We, why do we say love so much? Right, it says put the powder in, innit? It didn't say that, but in my head, it's telling me, innit? My head is telling me I'm going to listen to my head. <laughs> my heart is not beating really fast, so I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> my heart is beating really fast. It's going to tell me something. <laughs> I'm going to live by that from now on. If my heart doesn't start beating fast, I'm just going to be like, F it. <laughs> it's a good idea. My heart's clearly fine. Like, this is, it's all good. It doesn't even tell you how to bleach your hair. Oh, I can't read it. Can we zoom in on that? What does that say, you guys? 40 volume. Great. Just the most powerful developer you could possibly put in your hair. We're going to start off with that on already damaged hair. F yeah. I don't even have gloves. To even touch my hair, so I'm gonna have to be using this. I obviously know you should touch bleach with your hands. You don't have gloves? I'm gonna start from the bottom. And let me just look if it does anything to my hair. Am I being trolled by this video? Be honest. Nafisa, I'm I'm on to you. She's going to apply the lightener to the bottom of her hair and then see if it does anything. That's not how this works. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. You gotta let it sit. You gotta do it properly and not use 40 volume. Maybe the first time you are bleaching your hair after it already being damaged. Just an idea. I'm gonna ask for my money back. It cost me nine pounds. Could do a lot with that. Go eat. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this bag. And I'm gonna do my life hack, guys. I'm offended. On my Snapchat, I wrote, if I should bleach my hair, and 100 people actually did, I was, I was shocking it. I was like, yo, like, I'm doing it now. This cannot be real life. This just has to be one of the weirdest <laughs> bleaching videos I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot. We now have a shopping bag on our hand, using it to apply the bleach. And she said if her hair doesn't turn out good, she wants her $9 back. I'm gonna let you know right now, there is just no way this is gonna turn out good. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Yo, I just made a mess. Guys, I got jumped, you know. That's another thing I need to talk about. But yesterday, I went to watch a blue story in cinema and I got jumped. If you want to know what happened, just Snapchat me and I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> I love 
this girl. This girl needs way more followers. I want to know what happened. Bless your soul. One of my mates' brothers came. Like tables were thrown. You know, outside the cinema where they have like tables and that. And they have like glass vases on there. It fucking fell and it like smashed all over the place. Where are you? Why is this happening? Okay. I'm also getting distracted. Let's fast forward and watch her actual hair process. And if you want to see her video and you want to see the rest of what she's saying, link below. This application is probably one of the most horrendous application methods I've ever seen. I don't even think you could call it a method. It's not even a method. It's just an awful, awful application of bleach. Oh, girl. It's really, really bad. She just put it right on the front of her head at her roots. No, please start from the darkest points and move around your head. This is going to be so spotty. Yo, it's big. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't itch it. Don't. No. No. Oh, oh, girl, what are you, oh my God. She was just attacking herself with a paddle brush. Chill. Don't do that. Some hairdressers will give their clients like combs to pick at their head. I don't recommend it. I recommend just really trying to sit through that itch because what you're gonna do with the tail end of a comb, you're gonna make scratches on your scalp. And then when the lightener is sitting longer and longer, it's just gonna keep burning and keep burning and get more and more burny as you go on. I just recommend sitting through through the itch and burn. I know it sucks. And if you really need to, just like push down on the itch. Don't scratch it with a comb though. It's not good. Or bang your head with a paddle brush. I guess that's kind of better. Like, I'm thinking this is shampoo, but I'm like rubbing it with my hands. And now we lather the bleach because everybody thinks that bleach lathers. It's not shampoo, actually. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You can't lather it. Stop scratching your scalp because you're gonna make more and more itch happen. And she didn't get any of her hairs. Uh, and now we're gonna blow dry it. Because it's burning my head. I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Up here, I need the cold air. If your head is burning that bad, there's probably some bad chemical reaction going on or you probably just shampooed your hair in the morning. And um, yeah, it's just not a good idea. Using cold air on bleach is gonna make the bleach not work. Bleaching is an exothermic process, which means it creates heat in order to lift the hair. So when you're blow drying with cold air, it's gonna make that process slow down, majorly slow down, to the point where it might not really work. I can't even show my hair, so I can't show it. Yo, I actually look mad. Yo, this is really bad. Dude, there is nothing good about this. I just keep blow drying. I'm not crying, but I'm crying. I'm crying in my heart. I'm crying. I should have went with my heart. Now my heart is telling me. My heart is beating, but my heart is gone. This year has been one of the worst years of my life. Oh my God. Yo, it's like two different colors, but what was I thinking? No, what was I thinking? Oh my God. That was very entertaining. Oh. My God, there was nothing good that she did. It honestly could probably not have gone any worse. Yo, she was left with like blonde roots, brown midsections. Everything was super orange, yellow and brassy and nasty and the underneath wasn't colored. The ends look fried. I'm sorry. She said at the end of the video she was gonna go back to brown with a hairdresser. Um, I think that's a great idea for you um, because at this point, in order to get a nice color blonde, you are gonna have to go through a serious corrective color process with a hairdresser and that will not be cheap and it will not be fun and it'll be a lot of hours just go dark just go brown and we're gonna end that there that was a lot okay let's move on next video is by Kinesia Junai I butchered that bleaching my hair gone wrong must watch and I am here to watch it oh my gosh this is so terrifying so she did a test strand i'm assuming that's what she kind of means by this which is great test strands are awesome if you guys ever want to know how well your hair is going to lift how well the whole bleaching process is going to go for your hair do a test strand it's an easy way to find out if your hair is ready to be bleached and how much it's going to lift in one process or how many processes you're going to need to do and just get your game plan going before you start the whole process of doing the whole head of hair which is a long damn process why the hell not i have my hair in like braids 
these old uh, sprays from the mud takeout, and then we're just going to finish the bleaching process. She looks like she has really pretty hair. I'm a little scared, um, because of course curly wavy hair is dry and bleaching it is gonna be a lot on her hair. We'll see though. Yeah, I'm virgin hair, so this is- Oh, she's virgin, virgin hair. hair. I like the warm tone she that she likes. I also like that. It looks really good on her. You know, platinum would look pretty cool, but the nice honey warm blonde does complement her skin tone very well um, and brings out more of the warmth in her. That's awesome. Okay, cool. She has virgin hair. We're on to something good here. I have complete virgin hair. Like my hair has never been dyed before. <laughs> I want to do it. I love virgin hair. It took literally 10 minutes for this to like. It's pretty orange. Not gonna lie. We're doing sectioning. Love that. What is that? Cream cheese? Oh, it's Manic Panic. Sorry, Manic Panic. I'm really coming for you there. Um, I'm just using this because I didn't want to like commit to actual buying like really, really good bleaching. This was only like $10. So she bought the cheap one because she didn't want to commit to bleaching. I hate to burst your bubble, girl, but by bleaching it, you're kind of committing to bleaching it. Am I missing something? Okay, we poured the rest in there. So we add the full developer in there. Hair gods, please help us. Please make sure her hair doesn't fall out. Completely damaged. Completely damaged. It will turn out amazing. It will turn amazing. Amen. Amen. Hair gods, I love you. Okay, so we're starting the bleaching and we're just applying to whatever. Oh, no. You guys, you just gotta stop taking huge clumps of hair and just trying to slap bleach all over it. That's the only thing. You just gotta stop that. Well, that's not the only thing, but. It's just not gonna distribute through all the hair strands. And I always say, when you apply the bleach to the hair, it should look like heavy toothpaste is covering your hair strands. It should be fully saturated or else the bleach is not going to work properly and it's not gonna get through all the layers of hair and you're gonna end up with a lot of dark spots and a lot of weird stuff going on. Just section it out into very small sections, please. It's lifting really fast. I'm sure it is. You have very fine hair. And now she's combing it through. I have nothing to say. I don't. I'm done. It's horrible. It does. It looks pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yo, her hair is lightening like <laughs> lightened. If she just used enough lightener and really saturated everything, this would have actually came out really good. And honestly, she should go to a professional, but this is definitely possible to do at home. If she just used enough lightener and did the application method correctly, it would have been a beautiful shade of blonde and it would be really even. She's not dealing with any existing pigments in her hair. It just would have been such an easy process if it was done correctly. If any research was done, just a little bit. So irritated with the way the process looked. Um, I went to Walmart and they were out of the bleach kit that I used yesterday. We got another one. We got another one. My bleach kit, luckily the lady was actually nice enough to look for a different one for me. Usually. Walmart employee are so rude, but she actually looked for a different one. So today we're just gonna be using this kind. <laughs> um, it is the <laughs> splot. <laughs> <laughs> when you thought it couldn't get worse, <laughs> it gets worse. I bought two of these. And I also bought um, this. It gets worse. <laughs> So we're doing bleaching. We have two bleach kits and we don't even know the developer of it because it's kind of just a mystery in those in those kits. And then we have a box dye kit that is not necessary. Don't put permanent color over bleached hair. The purpose of permanent color is to lift the hair, virgin hair. You can't, color doesn't lift color. So this isn't even gonna do much. It lifts the hair and then deposits the tone. You only need the depositing part, which is a demi-permanent or semi-permanent color, all that bad stuff. You just don't need it. So clearly y'all can already see. What the, how? A whole part was did not get bleached. Wow. Just touch up the parts that didn't get bleached and then after that. Good luck. Whether I like it or not, if not, I'm gonna- Looking like a damn cheetah. Um, This in there too. Okay y'all, so I combed out my hair. My hair is like 
dry AF, okay? So I definitely need to like moisturize or do What the f did she do? After this, but um, I think what I'm finna do is I'm finna to- What the f did she do? Yo, this could have not gone any worse. This one is worse than the one we just watched somehow. There is just spotting. There's different colors everywhere. If this girl came to me and had me fix this, I would be like, honestly, girl, we have our work cut out for us. We're going to be here for the entire day, maybe more than one day. This is rough. This is really rough. You would have to go in and foil every single piece individually and paint those dark spots by hand in order to get this thing to fully lift and be one solid color. It would just be the longest process and she could have avoided all of that if it was just done right the first time. This is where most of the, how did I forget the main part? Like I do middle parts all the damn Literally, how do you forget to do the place that you part your hair? I feel like I'm slightly being trolled, but I'm not sure. Again, once again, I'm, I'm being trolled, but I, I just don't know. How did she forget to do her roots? How is that possible? How did I forget this part? But let me just show my hair. I can't see the back of my head. And it's a good thing you can't see the back of it. I'm not a professionalist. So if I did anything wrong while doing this, please let me know. I'm here to let you know. I will make sure of that. Here's the game plan. If you were gonna start over and do it all again, what you should be doing is using 20 volume because you don't want your hair that light. Even 10 volume, you want it to kind of like a brassy orangey blonde. You should use like 10, 20 volume. Probably 10 would have been fine for you. Started in the mid lengths and ends, working your way up, leaving that inch of root out, fully, fully saturating it till it's covered in lightener. Then going back, once you did the entire roots and ends, going back, starting with a root from the back and going up, doing all the roots after that, then cover your head with say a plastic bag or anything like that. Let it sit until you get to the desired tone and then rinse it out and use a toner. Probably like a neutral golden level eight would have probably been great for you and you would have had the most perfect, beautiful, golden blonde color. And it would have been so easy. That's how it should have gone. Just saying. <laughs> this is hopeless. <laughs> and it says don't get mixture directly to scalp and it's like how can you avoid your scalp <laughs> what are you doing she's freaking out she got halfway through it and stopped and rinsed it out this is not the time to Yo, come on. Yo, you are in there. Keep it going. Finish it off. Come on, girl. I literally washed this with shampoo and it's still not coming out. My hair is like turning platinum blonde. Yeah, you just layered bleach on top of already bleached porous hair. Yeah, it's gonna turn really blonde. Let me bring you up to speed here. She rinsed that out. She was gonna go to the other side. It didn't happen. She's now at a salon and she's getting her hair fixed. Good luck to whoever had to fix this. We'll see what happens. They could not like fix the black. It looks better. Didn't want my hair to fall out in. Honestly, whether they were lying to me or not, I was not gonna take any chances because since we do not need to be bald head. I mean, they weren't lying to you. However, in order to fix all those dark spots would have been very expensive and very timely. I've said that a few times now. They probably just didn't want to spend all the time doing that for maybe not a lot of money. You have to go in and foil every individual hair strand in order to fix that. I mean, you really f***ed yourself over. <laughs> really did really really badly so i understand why they didn't do it i mean if i were the hairstylist i wouldn't have done anything if they couldn't do the whole thing you know you don't want your client walking around with hair after you did it do it right or don't do it at all you know what i mean so yeah they did tone my hair down that's why my hair looks a lot orangey in the video she needs a beautiful darker root color and lighter ends it'll mix everything together if you did a nice darker root glaze and a lighter end glaze it will just be so much better because it'll kind of confuse the eye to not look at those dark spots in your hair this can be very much corrected with a very well done toner. I mean, you can tone hair to make it look like it's been highlighted and low lighted. That's what I'd probably recommend at this point because it would just be so difficult to pick out every dark hair where you are right now. I mean, it's, it's a lot. So this is the color she ended up with. Why does it almost look worse? Why are the roots pink orange? Why is nothing corrected? 
what am I not getting here? This poor girl has been through a lot. <laughs> Oh, and this is what she ended up with. I mean, so that's pretty much this disastrous story of um, why you should not bleach your hair at home if you are not a professionalist or you don't. Professionalists, we love professionalists. And you've never colored your mother hair in your damn life, okay, sis? Oh my God! All right, I mean. Yeah, I've said everything I can say. That was really bad. Thank you for sharing that video with us. At least you entertained us, you know? Your hair might look like but you entertained us. Those were wild. Yeah, they butchered their hair. I don't know which was worse. They honestly both turned out really bad. The second one I think was slightly worse. There was nothing that went right. Nothing that was done right or went right. Good for you guys. You won an award for doing everything absolutely incredibly wrong. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for watching today. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BradMondoNYC. You can also follow my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair, on Instagram. We're pretty fabulous. Um, if you want beautiful, glowing, healthy, gorgeous hair, you can get it, girl. You can have my expertise in your own home with my hair products by X Mondo Hair, my own hair product line. E I love it. And that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.